and we got a sneak peek earlier just before the break, but now Jeff will tell us all about his froggy friend here. Uh, I like his fingers. I'm going to point that out right away. I really like his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't this guy so cute? He's called a white tree frog, often called a dumpy tree frog. He's new to us here at the zoo and just such a cute little animal. These guys are found in Australia, New Zealand, and I got to say this guy's a little chunky. He's had too many French flies. Oh, French flies. I like that. That's a good one. That's a good one, Jeff. Um, Thanks. I appreciate that. Why do you but, have a glove on? Are you going for the Michael Jackson look or is that for safety? <laughs> Well, I kind of feel cool with my headpiece and my glove now. It's actually to help the skin. These guys have very delicate skin. And so my oils on my hands, you know, if I handle them too long, it cause problems for this guy. So this is just a way for me to make sure he's as safe as he can be. And speaking of those little fingers, little toes, they obviously they're sticky. This guy's a tree frog, and so he spends his life up on the trees. And obviously those little sticky toe pads allow him to stick onto those surfaces, windows, things like that. And get this, these guys actually secrete a waxy substance off their skin. It's used to actually cocoon them. So if there's not a lot of water some year, it keeps them nice and, and, and moist. However, we think that that secretion can have benefits to humans. It's actually being used right now and tested for certain uh, medical uh, uses, which is pretty cool. Wow, no kidding. All right, so tell us, get us updated on, on, the, on the wolf pup. I know he was in the news just recently. So what's the latest with him? Yeah, the amazing thing is this community rallied. We were able to raise over $25,000 for this guy. Uh, if you, if you, you don't know what the story is, the, our wolf pup had hydrocephalus. We found out during a CT scan, going to take him actually over to Washington State for some surgery in the coming weeks to get him uh, to get that uh, shunt put in his head to allow the fluid to actually drain out and actually give him as much of a normal life as we can. We're very excited about it. Thank you to the Billings community for making this happen. And we want to do what's best for Simpson and everybody, all the uh, professionals around the country agree surgery is his best option. Pretty yeah. awesome. Wow, it's, it's just so fortunate that he ended up here in Billings and caring hands in a community that um, that wants to see him back to full health. So. Right. Where it's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for that update, Jeff. And uh, thanks, little tree frog, for visiting with us this morning. <laughs> we appreciate <laughs> you getting up early. <laughs> All right, we'll see you thanks, next guys. time, Jeff. Have a good day. Bye bye. We'll, we'll be back after.